Hello, hello, and welcome to the next collaboration of the Sassy Crafting Sisters. We are doing some summertime keychains in this collaboration. So pull up a seat and uh, grab a cool drink and uh, enjoy. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I do appreciate it. If you like what you see at the end of the video, please leave it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Let me know what summer plans are in store for you this year. And don't forget, I always ask after each video, head on over to Debbie Gets Crafty. Watch her keychain video for today and leave her a thumbs up. Leave her a comment. Tell her that Judy from Crafting with Judy sent you. She loves to hear that. And don't forget to subscribe to Debbie as well. So this is the next series for the Sassy Crafting Sisters collaboration. And we thought we would do some keychains for our birch trees that we have. So if you'll bear with me one second, folks, I do apologize. I just have to get this plastic off. Um, and then I want to show you, I'll go into detail about these keychains. Debbie and Todd got me these keychains um, a few months ago. So this is a pair of flip-flops. What better way to kick off summer than a pair of flip-flops? This is a keychain that is just one-sided, as you can see, which is perfect because then it's kind of light uh, and it'll hang perfect on my tree. So let's get started. So how is everybody? I'm going to go ahead right now and apologize for the light um, because it is kind of overcast right now. We've been experiencing some rains, um, typical summer weather here in South Florida. So yeah, you know, it happens. Um, but nothing is going to damper my spirits today because I'm back with my friends. Yay! So yeah, what's on your agenda for this summer? Um, my husband and I have plans on finishing his den. Uh, we are preparing our garden for our next planting. Um, and we're actually looking to planting some things that might and hopefully will survive the uh, summer heat of South Florida. Uh, we subscribe to a few different gardening channels um, for folks who live in Florida. So we got some pretty good ideas and uh, that's one of the things that we're going to be working on this summer. But my main focus, and I think my husband also, is to get our den done. That is the absolute last room in our house that needs to be uh, finished. Um, all the other rooms have been redone, including my office slash guest room slash craft room. <laughs> um, so yeah. We also, believe it or not, uh, we had plans on going for a picnic at our local park this weekend, this past weekend, but unfortunately Mother Nature had other plans. Not that we're complaining we need the rain. If you guys watched our uh, last collaboration between Debbie and I, uh, you would see that uh, my husband and I did some rain preparation. We got some rain barrels and things and... Uh, but we had no rain at that time. Well, I'm happy to report that it has been raining a lot lately. In fact, our two 55-gallon water uh, containers have overflowed. So, yeah, that's how much rain we've gotten in a very short time. So, um, that's what's been helping us, you know... Uh, one because it it doesn't rain every single day here it sure does feel like it but it doesn't um but um so on the days that it's not been raining we've been able to collect some water out of our containers and go around the garden and water which is exactly what we wanted to do and uh we're so happy that the system is working exactly as planned it looks fantastic, and it is performing magnificently uh, to the point where we're actually going to add a third rain barrel to catch more water. Um, where we've got it on the side of our house, uh, my husband put in a gutter to kind of, you know, wrangle in the water down into these rain barrels because there's a particular part on our roof um, that literally looks like Niagara Falls when it rains hard. And he wanted to take advantage of that coming off the roof. Why not? And uh, it's working out fantastic. Uh, 
So, but again, um, that's, you know, we've already got that established. Adding the other rain barrel, that's, you know, we can do that anytime. But what we really want to do is get this den done. Um, and then that'll be, you know, that'll be it for the inside. Then we have a screened in back patio that we need to rescreen. And uh, we've been talking about possibly putting some sort of a air circulation uh, fan, you know, a fan like in the corner uh, to just circulate some of the air so we can actually sit out there and enjoy it. Um, as it stands right now, it's just so hot. And um, it's very oppressive. Oh my gosh. We love sitting out there, but to sit out there, you have, you're you out there for just a couple minutes and you look like you just got out of a swimming pool with the sweat pouring off of you. So we have plans for that back porch and I am so excited about it. Oh. Um, the other day, uh, in the middle of the night, I'm going to say it was about 2.30 in the morning. No, I apologize. It was more about four o'clock in the morning and there was some ruckus out in our garden. I heard, I heard animals. Um, and let me tell you, they were having quite the, uh, fight it seemed, but it was so dark. I couldn't see. And I wasn't going out there. Heck no. So, um, I went and caught my husband up, but like I said, it was four o'clock in the morning. He wasn't getting up. <laughs> he rolled over and went back to sleep and I was like, darn it. Uh, so I turned on a couple of lights out back, but it didn't seem to phase them. Uh, and that lasted for about 15 minutes and then it stopped. Well, the next morning when we got up for the day, we realized the extent of this fight I'm calling it. They knocked over our bird bath. They knocked over a, a lighthouse statue that I have in my garden that we've had for years. Um, they knocked over three potted plants that my husband and I have. Uh, so whatever took place back there the other night, let me tell you, it was rough. We have a security system in our, in our, at our house on our property, but we didn't have it on because we were under a recurrent advisory and due to the winds, the cameras go off constantly. So we didn't have them on in the middle of the night. So we didn't capture any of this. Well, my husband, uh, had to go to, uh, Bass Pro Shops that day and he decided he found a, um, truck him. So he picked it up and we set it up and it's been up for two days now. So I think later today we're going to go take it down and see what we've captured. It takes still shots and it takes video and it's motion detected. Uh, so that's interesting. So I'm anxious to see what exactly we captured the past couple of days uh, on it. But yeah, so everything is coming together nicely. Uh, again, like I said, we're going to be working on my husband's den. Um, a couple of, and I, a couple of years ago, uh, he painted it and we got new blinds for the windows and, uh, you know, all of the exterior, you know, stuff is done. The paint, the blinds, the curtains, all that's done. Even, um, he's got four beautiful bookshelves with hence the reason why we call it the den because it's, it is a den, um, in every, uh, aspect. And, um, so yeah, we've, we've done all that. Now we just have to get down to the business of organizing it and getting it put together the way we want. And then he can go ahead and um, we're going to get uh, just a lazy boy uh, love seat to put in there. Uh, this way, if we have guests, if the grandchildren come over, uh, my office has a futon in it. And then 
we will have in his den, we'll have um, the Lazy Boy uh, convertible love seat that we can, um, you know, unfurl and have one of the kids or two of the kids sleep on it. Um, so that's, you know, in the heat of the summer, it's, my husband worked outside a lot last summer and, um, it's, it's getting hotter and hotter each year. And, um, so I think we're going to go ahead and just this summer, yes, we have to maintain the garden. We have to maintain the property, obviously, but, um, I think we're going to focus more inside the house during the summer. And then when it starts to cool down a little bit, it'll be time for us to go ahead and focus on our, uh, garden, you know, growing our plants and everything. So, but during the summer, we can go ahead and get things started for the garden. But I'd really like to get that room done because like I said, it being the last room of the house, you know, it'll just, it'll be the bow on, you know, on the top of this house. Um, it's gone through such a transformation in the past several years and it's really nice to um, be at the point where you can see the finish line so but it's going to take a lot of organization a lot of you know we have to get rid of things but you know who wants to get rid of things you know when you're going through your items it's literally um, a photo book of your life you know, uh, he'll come across a statue or a, a record and everything has a memory attached to it. And I think we're all like that. So. Whoop. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to finish up with the number 15 over here. And I think that's going to be it for today. We can uh, pick it up and finish it tomorrow. How's that? So I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. So glad to be back with you guys uh, for another Sassy Crafting Sisters collaboration. <laughs> Thank you to Debbie for putting up with me during these collaborations. I am not the easiest person to work with, I assume, or so I've been told. Um, as I like to put things off and I do not, uh, I make no bones about it. Yep. I'm a procrastinator. Uh, that's me, but I'm back. I'm here. So I have no, you know, I make no apologies about it. It's just the type of person that I am. You know, um, what kind of person are you? Are you, do, are you guys like me? Do you procrastinate or do you like to get things done? Listen, no, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, there are certain times where I am a ball of fire and then there's just certain times where I just, I'll get to it when I get to it. <laughs> so, but Debbie is sweet enough to put up with my antics. She's hysterical when she calls to remind me which video we're working on <laughs> all right well now look at those little blue flip-flops they're turning out nice tomorrow we'll finish up the uh, straps and the rest of the the rest of the sole so until tomorrow thanks for joining me everybody i appreciate it i hope you enjoyed what you saw don't forget to leave this comment, uh, this video a comment. Let me know what you guys are planning this summer. Leave the video a thumbs up. Go on over to Debbie Gets Crafty. Watch her keychain video for today. Give her video a thumbs up. Subscribe to her channel. Leave her a comment. Tell her Judy sent you. And until we see each other again, to finish up our flip-flop, take care and see you later. Bye.